Yep, I have accidentally caused horrendous traffic in the city of Blighty on the Wold. What have I done? Well, you're going to have to watch to find out. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. Here we are in Blighty on the Wold, and welcome back. Yeah, lovely to see you again. I haven't been in the city for weeks because um, I've been on a holiday, so I had to record ahead. So that's why that's why the Moon series appeared, just so I could record something uh, quicker and easier ahead to cover my week off with the family. And then while we were away, we all caught COVID. Well, I think we, my son actually caught it before we went away, even though he tested tested negative uh we all went away and then we just had a relaxing week of sleeping on the sofa and being ill for a, <laughs> a week and then when we come back everybody else has sort of got over it super quick and for me it has dragged on which is a bit of a, a pain but today it's monday i'm starting to feel oh oh big town i wonder what was going on there fantastic look at that fireworks everywhere we've unlocked another area i'll come back to what i was saying in a second um, campus, Metro, Blimp, ooh, ooh, Intercity Bus, which is good. I'm going to put those down so we can try and get some more visitors. IT Cluster, a load of new policies, high density. Yes. Excellent. Yeah, so most of my family sort of got over it. And for me, being exhausted and chesty cough just dragged on and on and on, which is a bit of a pain. But there we go. Starting to feel more alive. So getting back into recording. So in this episode, we need to expand a heck of a lot. We have a huge, let's come out of this uh, view here, a huge need, um, very high demand for residential. And we've still got lots to do over here. Last episode... We built this uh, amazing construction site. Thank you for some of the feedback on that. Uh, I've got a couple of suggestions from you lovely people as well we're going to put into practice over here. Um, and then I'd like to sort of sort out this area. So when we first started building uh, the city, we came down here, put this in, built along here. We did this section over here with all of these terraced houses. And yes, even in England, we have terraced houses with straight roads. So shh, with all your comments about, oh, he's got straight roads, that's not British. And then over here, we've got like the wiggly roads for yeah the other parts of the country that have wiggly roads. Uh, but this section through the middle here, Thornaby, um, we sort of worked on this section here. And I went for these different style terraced houses. But either side, this is literally just the bog standard UK theme, which doesn't have any particular, you know, theme to it, which I'd like to sort out. You can see we've got all these sort of houses mixed in. There's like country properties, like corner properties in the wrong place, all that sort of stuff. So what I want to just do is just check. Let's have a look. So we've got this separate zone in here for these houses. This one here goes all the way down to the end and all the way up to here. And that's as far as it goes, isn't it? I'm just checking I'm not going to mess up anything else. No, we're fine. Um, so let's jump into here and go into themes. And we're going to enable theme manager. We're going to just pause the game. We're not going to have the British style anymore. That is the one that's the base British style that just has all the British houses in there just to give us something to go on before we dive into it and tweak it. Um, I would like to go for some sort of Victorian. We've got these Victorian terraces, which I quite like. And there's all sorts of different levels here. Level one, level two. Yeah, level one and level two. That is about it. So we've got no sort of level three and level four. I think that just, we might just go with that. The only one I'm gonna take out is these ones here. We've got these Victorian terrace inner corner ones. There we go. I'm going to go with the Victorian Terrace. So right down the end here. Scroll, 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 scroll. There we go. Victorian Terrace on Thornaby. Excellent. So I know what's going to happen is unless we upgrade these houses, they're not going to change. So I'm just wondering whether, eek, and I always hate doing this, is we're going to go for a big mass delete and pop them back in again. So I'm going to take out, let's have a look. Actually, if I start from here, I'm going to take out all of those. And everybody should disappear. And I think these at the end are shops. Um, so, yeah, we're going to leave those shops there. I'm hoping they're just going to stay and not cause any issues. Uh, we shall see. So, hopefully now, all of these are going to happily grow in and be the Victorian terraces that we've got. And I think that is an autosave <laughs> right in the middle. Nope. Yes, it is. And also, so I'll have a quick sip of tea then. There we go. Nice. And then we'll just let this thing finish off. 
What I always find, which is quite funny when uh, I, I do this, is we'll get like, we'll have a huge demand. I'll delete a load of houses. So you think there would be even more demand, but then the demand will go straight down. We'll get like six houses in and the demand will disappear, <laughs> which is a bit annoying um, because it makes it hard to sort of fill everything in. I think some of these are probably, yeah, so ones like this when they upgrade. So that has now upgraded and become the type of house that we want, a Victorian terrace. Um, unfortunately, some of these may already be upgraded. No, they're not. I like these ones. What are these? The Grove Residence. Oh, UK Village Collection. Yeah, when we get to our villages, we'll, we'll be doing some villages the other side of our built-up area here. But I think that's going to take a while. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's just slow this down a minute. I'm going to just remove all the houses from this section here all the way along. All the way along, all the way along. Whoa, just be careful. All the way along. There we go. So hopefully they should all disappear. Well, they're going to disappear because I'm going to give them a helping hand. Oh, that is so satisfying. Here we go. Decimating the population. I'm assuming this is some sort of... Let's have a look what this is. Oh, yeah. Fire station. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, anybody now who wants to move in is going to have to move in over this way. Um, so it might take a while, but we're going to get sort of like a mix now of, of these sorts of different styles. Um, what I want to do is just look in here and make sure that these Victorian terraces are set up. What have we got? So household one. So, yeah, all of these would make sense. If some of these are semi-detached like this with two doors on the front. So they should be household two. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. The quicker way of doing it is changing these to duplexes and then we get the double household and we get the tick over here. So any with single doors are staying as they are. Any with a double door like this one are becoming duplexes. Okay, there we go, all done. So these are slowly filling in. We will come back and have a look at those a bit later i'm just thinking you know some of these they're so look at their long garden they are literally taking up the whole length of this which is fine but then that means we're getting them sort of back to back like this darn it i didn't realize that was going to be the case all right okay so we're going to have to change this slightly then so let us use our zoning road zone adjuster tool so we're going to have to change this so we don't get zones on the top here. So how, which way? How? I think we want the gardens up here. So if we prioritize newer road. Yep, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. No priority. Why is that not working? Yeah, do you know what might just be the easy way of doing this is to actually place these down myself. Um, I think that might be the way that we're going to go. Yeah, what's funny, when I use the picker mod, I picked this one, placed it there, but it's not actually adding in the rest of this, unless that's going to suddenly grow in, like I've just seen up there. That would be good if it could. Now, something else I also want to do is remove these grass sprites, and I'm pretty sure I've got a mod installed that will do that for me. Yeah, unfortunately, I've got the Hide It Bobby mods, and it's not working. I've already got these turned on like that i wonder whether the override ah there we go i need to put that on and it's instantly made them disappear oh that is going to be much easier on rendering of the videos i'm just wondering whether that's affected any of the fields or anything no we've still got like the colors on the field and stuff ah that is fantastic right okay let's get back um, to what i was doing on here right let's have a look yeah this is fitted in nicely very good so it turns out that yeah some of them do have the extra long gardens but i've just removed those and just put in these smaller ones so we can have them literally jam packed in here and i just think they look absolutely fantastic the detail on these and the tractors parked outside <laughs> really go well very nice very nice all i think we do need just to sort of fill out some of these garden 
gardens that we've got in here. I'm not going to detail them super detailed, but what I am going to do is we are going to pick a tree or two. Let's have a look through here. Yeah, we've got a few different alder trees, which I think I'm going to just sort of place around here in some of the gardens. There we go. I should actually just turn that down. Of various sizes. Excellent. And I think that will sort of fit in very well just to give a little something something to the gardens there we go how's that looking oh very nice very nice that is fitting in much better with the theme that we've got going on here i have just noticed there's one garden oh that's come along the back here hang on a sec no i don't want that i'm going to pick that one and we're going to do that instead there we go excellent and then we'll just pop a tree in there yep i think that's good i think that fits in really nicely got a little bit of a park over here as well so now what we should find over time let's just come out of all of this view yeah there we go look once again we have a high demand for residential zone so now i want to fill in all of this and what i'm thinking i might just do is these should all be the same size so i'm going to grab the move it mod change that to buildings and trees seems quite obvious but i didn't really think of it and then we're going to grab all of those all the way up to the end we're going to copy that oh man that's taken a long time to copy that yay there we go and then if I hold snapping, I should be able to get that to line up in there. God, man, move it mod's really slow. I've left clicked and we're waiting. There we go. Excellent. And I, oh yeah, I did line it up correctly. Either side. Oh, it overlaps a bit over here for some reason. Yeah, maybe we need to sort of check the length of these roads. Oh, is that a different width road? That's a four lane road. Here's a thinner road. Yeah, I bet that's what it is. Hmm. Okay. Do we need to keep that as a four? Yeah, we've got this as a sort of a collector coming through here. So we'll leave that that size. Let's just see. Um, is it going to take much? Yeah, we do need to destroy that. Destroy that. And they're already selected, which is good. There we go. I think that'll be okay. And what I, I don't think I need to put any zoning in here. I think they'll just carry on working as they are. And some of these are leveling up already. Look, so we're getting the extra height. Oh, no, hang on a sec. They're all super high, aren't they? <laughs> so let's go back to the move it mod again. Are they not all selected now? Darn it. Okay. Let's select all of those. There we go. And control H. Never mind. I just click the option here to terrain height and it's dropped them all down. <laughs> Still doesn't look right to me. <laughs> I'm going to just individually select one. Let's select that one there and do control H. Yeah, there we go. Now it will let me do it. So why won't it let me do it when I just select the whole lot? That is ever so slightly annoying. All right, we'll just use the move it mod page down option. Nope, can't do it. I'm going to have to do them all individually. Darn it. Okay, everything individually selected. Now I can do control H and it will let me plop it down. So why wouldn't it let me before? If you know, let me know in the comments below. Right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to do a quick save and I'm going to copy all of these over to here. Okay, we are getting there. So this side is looking jam-packed with Victorian terraces. Here's the school and everything we've done before. And now we have this side as well. And the land value seems to be slightly higher. So it's all upgraded. Now what I did to try and sort of help with laying this all out is I've just selected this whole section here and set it all to the same height as one of the roads over here because it just makes it so much more difficult. I'd have to go through individually and change the height and all of these but that's meant we've been left with a little bit of lumpy bumpiness over here so i'm not entirely sure what i'm gonna do with that um, let's just have a quick look if we just take the move it mod um how far down could we move a segment of that before it just starts looking weird yes yeah, so we can go down 
can go down a little bit. So I'm just wondering whether we could sort of level that out using one of our tools. Let's jump into the network multi-tool. Uh, we'll go for a set slope mode. And we're going to go from here to here. Just level that. Well, yeah, slope that out a little bit. Makes it a little bit better. And then all we've got is like these big droppy slopes down here. So I think we're going to take from there to here. Do the same there. Yeah, I think we might just need to work with this a little bit and have some sort of key wall down here and a drop. Uh, I'm going to take these houses out. Yeah, we're going to destroy those. Let's just have a look. There's no zoning there. And then this road down here, I mean, that is pretty steep. But to be honest, <laughs> I don't think people will be able to drive up there. <laughs> I'm going to remove that road. What other connections have we got here? We've got this connection down here. These are looking okay. Yeah, it gets too steep when it gets along there. So we'll work on this a little bit. Right, what have we got? We've still got a huge demand for residential. We're up to 8,200. I really would like to unlock, if I can today, trains, which is a population of 11,000. Oh my goodness me. Do all of these have people living in them? Adults 1, Adults 1. That just doesn't seem like enough. Adults 2, Adults 1, Adults 0. Really? Yeah, see, that's got two front doors on it as well. So these also need to be adjusted to duplexes. Yeah, some of these I've missed out. So let me just go through and do these. So I would like to continue this pattern down here. And of course, now these roads are all over the place. Slopey slopiness. So we're going to go from there to down there. Then right click and deselect from there to down there. Down from there to down there. Now, how does that look compared one to the other? Yeah, they're going to be slightly out because obviously I'm going over a longer distance to smooth them out. But I think that will be okay. Uh, let's just smooth out the land a touch. Oh, we're getting a problem with power. I hadn't noticed that before. I think we also need to get this road down here. Uh, let's get that one from there. To all the way around to there. There we go. I think that is looking much better. Let's just do that one again. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Now, why are you lacking power? Oh, okay. We've probably got enough power. It's just the connections over here. What has happened? Has anything disappeared? I don't think so. So let's just hook these up and then we'll worry about it when we start building over here. Fortunately, none of these have disappeared, which is good, because that would have been a right pain in the neck. And there we go, all sorted. Right, so let me copy and paste some of these over to this side. So what are we at? 8,620, which is fantastic. Now, I do realise as I'm copying these, I'm copying now houses that have gone up to level 4. So I'm just wondering whether I can... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to just go with that and hope it doesn't cause any issues oh <laughs> we shall see yeah so we are going to get some of this now where obviously the road dips down that these are going to be different heights so i'm going to have to place these down i think and then come through here i mean the other option i've got is to just have this all at the same level apart from this outside road and then sort of work with a bank instead I'm just thinking of how much time this is all going to take me to uh, to do this. So, yeah, let me pop these houses in first. We'll see how it goes. And then I might just level the whole thing out and go with that. So what I'm doing is as I'm picking these up, I'm then just sort of switching them around to face the other way just to give them a little bit of a difference. So when you look down, you're not seeing the same tree pattern over and over again. And then I just sort of swoop down just to make sure they're all lined up okay. And as we said, we're going to worry about the heights later. So, yep, that is looking fine. Um, along here, what have we got? A fire station. I think we're just going to move that to over the end down here for now. Oh, everyone's so unhappy. And that means we can then grab and copy these over. Um, how far could I go there if I added another road in? Let's have a look. Let's grab, not that. Let's grab this road here. So we could probably get to about there and have a double row in. Oh, let's see how that goes. Okay, just doing the last little bit here. Probably selected too much there. Uh, no, that's okay. We'll just put that up to there. 
Excellent. So now we've got to fix this all up. I tell you what, this is like an entirely different way of playing <laughs> City Skylines when you get into doing things like this with all the mods and stuff. Yeah, because this is like all wickedy whack all over the place. Um, so first of all, let us just grab some of these roads so we can literally bring that right up to the end there. There we go. That one there. That one there can come right up to the end. Oh, we've got an error. Nope, we're fine. So then we can just fill in a few gaps as well. I will get to that. So now we just need to sort of level all of this out again. Uh, this is where it's going to get fun. So we're going to put that all on. Um, and let's have a look. I want to start here and go down and all the way out, which is going to really hawky-borky mess up the road. I'm not going to take the road in down the bottom here as well. I'm just going to do all of that. Yeah, to there. And then control H and we'll set that to something in the middle here because we know that's all okay. There we go. So all the houses are the right size. Over here it's a bit whack because this road is not quite right and we need to adjust this road a little bit okay ah oh, we've got there finally i had a bit of a crash i d selected too many houses with the move it mods and i set them all to terrain heights and it just crashed my game it was just too much for the game to handle but i've just been going along here and just sort of finishing off i've connected some of these roads up like this so they don't just end they come around the corner like this and i think that works a lot better i've got a few gaps here we're going to fill but that is much, much better. And uh, we do need some dedicated... Whoa! And some power. Some dedicated turning lanes there and there. And I'm going to set that to give way. That's already give way. Let's just check out our power situation. So that's connected, but it's not giving us... Oh, electricity has gone all the way down. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what then. What? Wow! This is all the people moving in, isn't it? To so the houses we've just set up. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Where is our electricity making thing? So we've got the Battersea Power Station is the only thing we've got at the moment. Right. What other options do we have here? Large coal power plants, electrical substations, five metal. Well, they're quite good for just sort of dotting around the place, but I'm not going to use one of those. I think we're going to have to go for... Hmm. Could we get some wind turbines in here somewhere? Because we do have hilly terrain, don't we? And connect up to those. So we've got some options there we could, could hook into. We've got this section along the road here, which we could sort of make a feature of. They're by the park. Oh, they're, the only downside is, is they're quite noisy. So maybe not there. And then, of course, we're getting out to squares that we haven't bought yet. So maybe for now, let's just go for another power plant. Where, what is the traffic? 60%. Good gravy. That is all the people moving in. Let's just go for another power plant in here. Yeah, what we could do is just double up the Battersea power plant setup that we've got here. So I'm going to take our inland water treatment plant... And we're just going to move that to the other side and then make sure we hook that up. There we go. We're going to take that out there. Um, and then we'll grab another one of these, which I think... Oh, man, is that going to not fit in here? Oh, darn it. Uh, if we anarchy that in, I think that should overlap okay. Yeah, we'll just get like the parking spaces in the middle, which is good. Uh, let's select these and get them the same height. That looks okay. Just seems to be a bit of a dip in there. But that should now give us, if we unpause the game momentarily, there we go. Plenty of power. And that can become sort of a bit of a a bit of a place there, couldn't it? Yeah, we'll come back to that. So let's just have a look at all this traffic and see where it's all going. So let's use the in-game tool and grab this road, our only road into the city. So yeah, we can see all of these are private vehicles. And they're all heading into our new houses over there. Wow. Yes, yeah, so I think this is going to be one of those occasions where we just have to wait for this to go down. Um, I am wondering whether we could add another way into the city over here. Although I'll be honest, I mean, we're sort of, sort of, you know, trying to go for semi-realism um, with our build. And you wouldn't have an exit from the highway 
the motorway, of course. We're in, uh, we're in New Blighty. Uh, oh. New Blighty, not New Zealand. Blighty on the Wold. We wouldn't have an exit from the motorway here and another one right over here. This would be perfectly acceptable for everything that's going on. So I think it is just a case of waiting for the traffic to go down. So there's a lot of people coming down this way and getting stuck on the time traffic lights that we've got here. Uh, let's just see how these are set up. Okay, so this one that's going, let's just stop that there. Yeah, they're only on 3 and 8. So I'm going to change that to 8 and 15. As always, totally arbitrary number. There we go. We're going to start that, and that's going to do the one that it's on. Yeah, there we go. And then hopefully that's going to let through more cars than normal. I think I'm also going to change this lane arrangement here um so let's grab our lane tool so we've got a dedicated lane going left i think this lane could be used for two things and i think that'll be fine and it might just help more people stack up through here i'm also going to do the same this is like totally against what i normally do but do that as well so what you might notice now is when the lights change we're going to get people using both of these lanes because some of these are going straight on and wanting to be in here. So it just means we're going to get a better throughput on here. Uh, this has got a giveaway sign on it. I've already checked that. Yeah, it's sort of only stopping them a little bit. And there we go. Look, it's not backing up as much down here, which is good. The rest of these, let's have a look. Are all coming down here. Let's have a look at this traffic light. So where are you stopping? Oh, this is the one. This is the one that's got the road where the people just cross over all the time like that. Look, and just get in each other's way. And that is a real pain in the backside. So I'll tell you what we're going to do to try and help them get out of there a bit quicker. I'm going to put this keep going. Um, we've got no crossing on there, but they still do it. Look, <laughs> they just block everything up, which is a real pain. I'm wondering whether I could change this road what sort of road is this it's a roundabout road i think they're the ones that were giving us the problem so i think what we're going to do is change this to a non-roundabout two-lane road so let's just pause the game so if i changed it to this one it's got the no parking on it like that that's gonna yeah i'm being careful i don't want to ruin any fences there we go and try that instead and then just check the so we've got no crossing so hopefully people won't cross yeah we're going to get a few cars disappearing while they work out what's going on hopefully that will work a little bit better see they're still crossing over here i wonder if i could just put uh whoops just put like a a temporary crossing over the top uh, like this that they would be more likely to use that yeah i don't know whether that's going to help we might just need to leave that going and just let all of these carry on through let's see where they are actually heading to we select this road instead so again you can see all the purple cars all heading up here oh man lack of water whoops all heading over to here so yeah it's just that problem again um let's just check our water i mean we're not keeping an eye on this properly i've got the tools over here and i'm not using them so electricity we are fine uh water although that one says there oh that's water isn't it yeah 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 um so what can we use for our water we've got this one over here so we've been using our water towers we've got one at the end of each of these roads so i think one at the end of this road uh, will be good that will just keep the keep the theme going it's not quite lined up straight but that should be fine and then we just need another one of these um, and that is literally going to go right next to this one sorry for destroying your warehouse and if we unpause that yeah, this one's waiting to get oh not enough fuel yeah you know why there's not enough fuel don't you it's because uh they can't get into the city so that should sort that out maybe one more water tower and at some point these are going to get upgraded do you know what? i'm going to start putting them in the middle here these will get upgraded to the larger ones that are available but for now and we need like a dedicated water water area 35 percent 
Oh, my life. And it's all because of this flipping roundabout. Look at it. Blocking everybody up. Oh, man. I just need to find a way to just get these people to just go through. Let's put the keep going through thing on again. And hope that that... I'm going to turn the one off here, which we normally would have on. And just let this run a bit and keep an eye on all of this traffic coming around this roundabout and see how that goes down. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Look at this car down. Oh, my life. Yeah, you can't mess with the roundabout. I've, I've messed with the roundabout and it's not liking it. We need this one to keep going and that one to be not keep going. Could it just <laughs> overrides? The roundabouts a bit. Oh, look. Oh, this one's going straight through and it shouldn't be. Yeah, it should only have the you go straight through set up on the roundabout. Otherwise, it just causes complete chaos. But I've got to do it anyway. We might be able to just do it on this one. <laughs> and see how it goes. Oh, my life. It's like queuing up outside the city. Oh, that must be the worst it's ever been. And then this way is queuing up. Oh, wow. Let's just put our camera mod on so we can get out here and have a look. It's queuing up down there and out there as well. That is... That is not helpful at all. I'm just thinking whether we just need a temporary connection through here. Just to try and help. I just think we're going to have to do something. Right, okay. Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to brighten things up a bit. Let's leave that on there and go up a bit on here. We're going to slow the game down. I'm not going to put a huge junction in here. We're going to have to buy some squares. Oh, we can connect to there. No, that's fine. All right, so we are going to have this road. I might regret this, but we're going to see what happens. What I wanted to do was just go straight into there, which I think would just be stupid. We could just put a temporary roundabout junction on here above ground. I think that is going to be what we're going to have to do. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I'm using the moving mod. I've just grabbed all of that. We're going to copy it. There we go. Uh, we're going to set that down to ground level. Is that not going down to ground level? Let's lower that down. Let's press the home key. All right, it is what it is. <laughs> Let's see if we can do this without utterly breaking everything. Oh my goodness me. Okay, where's that ended up? It's ended up up in the air. Look at that. Fantastic. Was this one up in the air? This one was underground, but I guess it's the level of the things but i don't mind having this one up in the air so what we're going to do is leave that like it is we're going to use the down key and just get that down to what would be a reasonable height ignore all the everything else around the side yeah like that i think is probably okay yeah excellent then we're going to grab with the pick a picker key that one there and set this to up and then upgrade and i want to be able to do that so if i do anarchy there we go that's good and we're going to do the same for those two there small city eleven thousand. we've done it nice trains monorails cable cars all sorts of other things let's just scroll through here yeah excellent oh that's really good that is exactly what i wanted to do so that one and that one so that doesn't cause a problem there that's fine. And then it's just a case of connecting these up at the end. Yeah, that is quite high up there as well, isn't it? I'll tell you what we're going to do is we're going to grab that road there. I'm going to put this on pause. We're going to connect that to there like that. And then we're going to turn that around the other way. Yeah, don't worry. I know what I'm doing. And then we're going to connect this one as well to there. That is facing the right way. Yep. Then we're going to do the same over here and over, let's try that again, over here. Yep, excellent. Then we'll turn that one round. And then we're going to use this tool to smooth it all out. So we're going to go from there up to there. And hopefully this will be okay. There up to there. Yep, that's okay. And then, oh, let's try that again. There we go. There down to there. 
Oh, mama, that was a big one. And then there, up to there. Excellent. Okay, so they're not all perfectly lined up, but we can maybe just do that. There we go. So now we've got a way in and out and a roundabout. Ooh, okay, right. So then we're going to do control shift left click on there. Yep, so we've got giveaway coming in, all the normal good stuff. And now we've got a row that it can all connect to. So let's pick this road up here. And let's turn off anarchy. And that is going to come out. Uh, first of all, that is going to come out straight like that to give us something to work on. And then these two are just literally going to hook up like this. There we go. Not perfect but that's okay very good very good we're going to make sure that when they come through there they just go straight ahead and um, we're going to make sure that when they join okay which way are they going these are going that way so these are going this way so we haven't done our lane mathematics through here have we did we do lane mathematics down here we did oh i see what we did beforehand we put the larger do you know what i don't really care about that for now I just want people to start using this. Um, let's just make sure. So that one's going to go off. These are going to go and yeah. So some of these are being forced to go through. Is there other nodes? Yeah, there's other nodes where they can change. So that's good. So now these are going to start coming through here. This is definitely going to need to be a traffic light with some dedicated lanes. Oh, I just get all excited. I love doing those sort of things. And then we'll go here and do a control, shift, left click. And then we're going to just keep an eye on all of these people flooding down here to come into our city. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do the lame mathematics stuff. It is causing some issues. So let's grab that road there and upgrade this one here. Oh, it's done two segments. Okay, that's fine. Um, and then we can do a bit of Hugo there. There we go. So when they come out, they've got dedicated lanes. When they come off, they've got dedicated lanes. Um, we're going to say no hawky balkiness there. And then you can merge back in. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So in fact, yeah, I'm going to do two again. It just sets it all out nicely. So no lane changing there. And this one there, you're getting dedicated lanes. So yeah, three lanes go straight on. One lane comes off. And I love the way that looks on these rows. Looks like a proper... There we go. Road coming off. So that's working okay. For some reason, these are stopping here. And giving priority to those going through, which is a bit odd. So you can actually go through there. So I don't know why you're stopping. They're probably doing the same there as well. Yeah, let's do that. Is that something they've done down here that I haven't noticed before? No, they're going through okay. And they're going through okay. Yeah, I can actually see that I've set that up there. Okay, that's fine. And then I may as well, as I'm here, do the intersection marking tool stuff. So I can just copy... I want to copy the whole thing. Mm hmm all the way along to here and select that and do paste uh apply yep that's okay uh, what size oh, actually let's do the other side first so we'll select that one copy come all the way over here and do that one and paste yep there we go apply um and then also i want to see what size we've set these so 44.63 slope yeah there's lots of stuff going on there let's just maybe use our eyeballs and see what we end up with so i'm probably done that uh, i've probably done a bit of this slope yeah i think that'll be okay so rather than copying the other one exactly if we just do that do the ends i'll tell you what we're going to do is we're going to remove this node in here there's a node there in fact i'm going to remove that node and let's mess everything up hmm Yep, yeah, okay, there we go, that's fine. And then that should, yeah, there we go. Look, that's going to straighten out nicely. Slope, make a bit bigger. Yep, yeah, that looks better. And that's all moving. I don't know why they're waiting so far back because they don't need, it's weird little things that happen sometimes. So you can go straight through. 
you're not stopping you're moving all off nicely so basically <laughs> he's just waiting for everybody to get through this roundabout Whoa, i just can't believe the amount of 20 percent oh my life and we're up to eleven thousand four hundred. and not so many people using the oh they're going up and going off again what the, the heck are you doing that for what okay uh let's just check the speeds of these roads uh what have we got on here oh jump again uh, so we've got 50 on the roundabout and then 35 coming up. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Look, different speeds. Uh, so we're going to go for 50 on the roundabout. And there, and then 35 coming up, which we've got already. So hopefully they're not going to come up and just go down and come off the other side. Oh, this is 45 along here. That just doesn't not seem right to me at all. 70 yeah that is the speed that this should be all the way through here 70 70 70 45 okay let's just change all that to 70 all the way down here 70 70 yeah past the junction i'll have to do it again 70 i don't know why that's changed and 70 yeah i bet that's fixed it now so we're not going to get people coming off just to come back on again but it's going to take a while for that to go down i think Oh, not so many people are using this now, which is slightly annoying. I haven't, like, blocked it for people coming off or anything, have I? No, they can come around. They don't have to go off there. Yeah, there we go. Look, some of them are coming around again. Cool. Okay, that's good. I think, you know, this is going to take a while to go down. And we've got a lot of needs that we're going to need to be filling in here. So, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Right, so one little time lapse later, how is the traffic looking now? Well, while I was actually setting up the, the recording path for the time lapse, uh, let's just click on here. The traffic pretty much went down, which was great. So what you saw in the video was about sort of 10 minutes. Uh, what you saw in the time lapse was about 10 minutes after I started it. Still got the traffic. Let's just put our camera mod on. There we go, which means we can go outside of our bought squares. Oh, man. Oh man, this one here still goes back all the way, which is a lot of traffic, isn't it? But I think we're going to have to just leave that until the next episode. But I'm really pleased at what we've done here. I think this is looking much, much better than the higgledy piggledy type houses that we had set up over here. And yeah, this is all going okay. And is it still this roundabout here that's causing all of the issues? Yeah, okay. We're not going to worry too much about that. So thank you very much for watching. Keep sending in your ideas of what you'd like to see next in Blighty on the Wold. Be sure to subscribe. We are, I think we're only about 8,000 subscribers away from 600,000, which is fantastic. So yeah, if you can help me out with that and check out the next video on the screen. Have a fantastic day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.